Good morning. I'm on my adventures again and today I'm visiting Castle Acre Priory in Norfolk. Castle Lake Priory was founded by the William de Warren, the first Earl of Surrey, who came to England with William the Conqueror. William and his wife Gunn Ridda have visited the great Bergian Abbey of Cluny sometime between 1077 and 1078 and had been admitted into the fraternity of the order. Impressed by the splendour of Cluny itself and by the elaborate rituals of his community, they decided to establish a Clunic monastery of their own on their English estates. Between 1078 and 1081, William built Lewis Priory, which was to remain the chief house of the order in England. Between 1087 and 1089, Warren expressed his intention to establish a second monastery at Castle Acre for monks from Lewis, who were already in resident in Castle Acre Church. This suggests that the new monastery was already in the process of being established, thus linking the two foundations. Castle Acre Priory, like most monastic houses, needed a substantial income to fund its building and to maintain its community. This was derived from two sources estates and the income of churches given to the community. Castle Acre was well endowed with a large taxable income. Royal support came from both Henry I and Henry II who granted the Priory freedom from tolls, a valuable concession for a house with extensive estates. The Priory was established in 1079 for a community of 36 monks, based on the core of monks provided from Lewis, and this number appears to be maintained throughout the 12th and 13th centuries. 32 monks are recorded at Castle Acre, in 1276 and the number had risen to 35 in 1279. Many monasteries found themselves facing financial disaster during the 1290s as a result of an epidemic of sheep's gab and war. In 1295 England was at war with France. The English priory assets were seized and a fine was put in place. All English monasteries were suppressed between 1536 and 1540. The buildings dismantled and their estates divided. However, both Lewis and Castle Acre fell victim in 1537 to an alliance between Thomas Cromwell, the King's secretary, and Victor General, and Thomas Howard, Duke of Norfolk. With dwindling monks in 1534, Henry VIII became supreme head of a church of England. He set about the long overdue reform of the church, a process which had been started by Cardinal Wolsey in the 1520s but had never completed. Part of an exercise masterminded by Henry's secretary and Victor General Thomas Cromwell was a review 
of a monastic church, a process which began as an honest attempt to reform abusers. In 1536, an act of suppression was passed by Parliament to permit the closure of small monasteries with a small income. Between Thomas Cromwell, Victor General and Thomas Howard, they persuaded the King to let them have the priories of Lewis and Castleacre. Castleacre was sold to Sir Edward Coke, whose descendants, the Earls of Leicester, still owned the site and placed it in the care of the Office of Works now English Heritage in 1927.